Hello, I'm Kyung Kim from Iralia. In this session, I'm going to briefly introduce the WebGPU GPS. First, WebGPU is a new web API that exports modern computer graphics capabilities, specifically Direct 3D on Windows, Metal on Mac, and the Vulkan on Linux, Chrome OS, and Android, for performing rendering and computation operation on a GPUs. And Chrome team aims to release the WebGPU around the beginning of the next year with a good performance test as coverages. CTS is an abbreviation for components test sheet. It tests the behavior defined by the WebGPU specification and the CTS written in TypeScript and the WebGPU CTS has been developed in GitHub. The WebGPU CTS, CTS can be run with a sort of adapter layer to work on the other test infrastructure like a web platform tests and telemetries. Currently, there are 1,400 tests and the WebGPU, test, WebGPU CTS is arguably more important than the WebGPU specification itself because it, it, it was what forced implementation to be interoperable by checking uh, they conform to the specification. There are just standalone CTS runners, so we can test a standalone test if we go to this site uh, with uh, enabling the web GPUs. Uh, regarding the contribution, the testing tasks have been tracked in the CTS project runner. The procedure of adding a new test is below. First, uh, you need to set up the CTS developer environment and add or edit test plan in the CTS project and implement tests. Last, upload the test and request a review in the CTS pro GitHub project. Uh, the CTS is largely composed of the four categories. API is to test for full coverage of the JavaScript API surface of the web GPU. Shader is to test for full coverage of the shader that can be passed to the web GPUs. IDEA is to check that the web GPU IDEA is correctly implemented. Lastly, web platform test for web platform specific interactions. This is a simple test for checking the right buffer validations. Uh, general, uh, basically, the uh, general test consists of three blocks. DSC describes what it tests and summarizes how it tests the functionalities. Params defines a parameter with a list of objects to be tested. FN uh, is the implementation body of the test. Take a look at the parameterization a bit deeper. The CTS provides helper params and branch helpers for creating large Cartesian product of the test parameters. These generate the test case further subdivided into test subcase. Thanks to the parameterization support, we can test with more various input values. So CTS project has been developed by a dozen of contributors. This table shows the key contributors classified the email account. Igalia has been participating in the CTS project since this June. Thank you for listening, and I appreciate it. Ken Russell and Kai Ninomiya, who have read my task. That's it. Next up on stage will be Zachary Tan. What's this down? 